Now, Russia is all set to launch the world's first floating nuclear reactor and send it on a journey across the Arctic. In a milestone for the country's growing use of nuclear power, the vessel is ready to be dispatched on a 4,000-mile journey along the northern sea route. The plant, named Academic Lomonosov, is designed to substitute for a conventional plant on ground, which remains frozen all year round. It's been claimed that the project will provide clean energy to remote regions and allow authorities to retire an aging nuclear plant and a coal-burning power station. Положительно, положительно, да, потому что, по, опять, по крайней мере, не применяются ни там, угольные станции, ничего подобного не применяется. Во-первых, не может быть никакого разлива нефти и так далее. То есть, как бы, природные средства, вот эти, как бы, топлива, они не используются. У нас все внутри, у нас ничего нет вовне. But environmentalists are split on the consequences that the nuclear plant can trigger. Concerns are especially rife after a deadly explosion this month at a military testing site in Russia's far north, which caused a strong radioactive surge. This after Greenpeace has dubbed the reactor as a nuclear titanic way back in 2018. The reactor's trip on the Arctic expanse is expected to last between four and six weeks. In a meeting in France over Brexit talks, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson put his foot up on a table in an unthinking act. This after French President Emmanuel Macron told Johnson that there was not enough time to negotiate a wholly new Brexit divorce deal. In a casual conversation that ensued, Johnson seemed to lift his right boot on the furniture at the Elysee Palace. The act, captured in a video, showed it to be Johnson's response to the joke cracked by his host Macron in which he seems to suggest that the table could also be used as a footstool. Social media has erupted in condemnation of this stunt, calling it insulting and disgusting. Many have accused Johnson of bad behavior, bereft of any manners. Several comments have associated the act with the Queen's reaction, who would never have tolerated such a thing at the Buckingham Palace. But the other side referred this incident as amusing, where both the leaders were sharing a light moment. Jean-Yves, Jean-Yves, how are you doing? 